Hello, everybody. My name is Matt. Welcome to Life on the Edge, which is not a podcast. Uh, this video series that we're uh, putting together here uh, is just really something we want to do to talk about uh, just things on our mind, let you meet the people here at West Edge, the ones who make the magic happen, including Chad and Jesse, who are here with me. So, um, yeah, welcome. Thanks for tuning in and stand by for lots of really cool content coming out. So we'll start off with... Um, as always, Jesse and Chad, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, man. Why exactly Thanks, are we doing this? Because you told us yeah. we have to do this. <laughs> there's a project for us, so we have to yeah, do it. There's a project. <laughs> I had a task show up in work -a jig that said, record a not a podcast. Wait, you looked at work -a jig yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. That's not true. No. no I, <laughs> why are we doing this? No, I think uh, content is king, right? Uh, you know, video video content, video marketing is a, a heavy part of what we do for our clients and helping them see breakthrough success in their everyday marketing. And, you know, uh, the cobbler's kid has no shoes. Mm -hmm. We've never really done our done our own. And so um, as we're moving into our new space and, and looking to take the next evolution of what West Edge is, um, we're excited to start, you know, um, making our own content. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, it's funny you say not a podcast because, like, in my head, why do we need, like? That's what I always wanted to do. Like, yeah, same. Seven years ago, I'm like, oh, you know, it'd be really fun to do a podcast. I'm I, before I even knew what it was. I'm like, can I just get together with people and just talk about stuff? And I'm like, that's <laughs> kind of like my dream, right? Mm -hmm. So we finally get to do it. But honestly, Matt, like you saying that your uh, audio uh, acumen and experience and all that, and being able to bring that to what we do, and for us to be able to carve out some time in our week to be able to talk about what we do, I think. It's really exciting and figuring out where this is going to go is going to be really cool but you're right the new space is going to really be its own character in this series yes. and kind of see where this goes yeah. and, and we'll, we'll get to that so wh wh why not a podcast why are we saying not a podcast because i said not a podcast because you yeah you we're told us to and i think it looks <laughs> cool on video right well okay right. like i'll i'll back it up i'll i'll be a little selfish on the marketing side of things like i mean youtube's the number two search engine in the world right like if you're going to discover something new like that's where i go um if you're trying to find out specific information about a couple different things youtube's going to show up in search results so oh, yeah it, it makes total sense but I don't know. Like, I know I'm not, I know I'm kind of an anomaly, but like I consume the majority of my content in 12 to 15 minute bites on YouTube. Like, you know, cooking, learning. Oh yeah. I watch You've got a long attention dude. span. Like I can't wait to see you for 15 dude. seconds on TikTok. I no, not, <laughs> not, not doing it. I don't have one, but I, I this is going to sound really ridiculous, but I have watched a guy build a boat in his yard in Oklahoma yeah. for 13 years, his YouTube channel, he started, he built a 74 foot Chinese junk in his yard out of steel. As and right does, now right? he's in the Gulf of Mexico. He, he quit his full-time gig and like, mainly cause I watch his YouTube channel. Yeah. So, so that's why YouTube's important, but also like, you know, podcasts are great. Well, and you, you mentioned, great. since you mentioned YouTube, I actually pulled up some stats and some uh, information kind of prior to this, uh, you know, as you said, that it's the number two search engine. Google's the number one search engine. Those YouTube results populate, if they are there, populate mm -hmm. at the top of the stack. Uh, so, you know, frequently when I'm searching for, you know, whatever, uh, YouTube videos will pop up first. So that's one thing. The other thing with podcasts, too, that I really like is, because there's an audio component to this, is it's something you can listen to while you're doing something else, mm -hmm. except editing podcasts. So, but I, I will listen to, <laughs> I will listen to podcasts while I'm like color grading or something mm -hmm. like that. And just listen to whatever, uh, like I like listening to podcasts when driving down to, uh, Fort Collins or Denver or whatever. So it's a good, it's a great time killer, especially as if you have, you know, really tight charismatic hosts, right. which you're, you're stuck with us. Sorry, but, um, that tight and yeah, right. charismatic right there. <laughs> no, yeah. Current I'll, company notwithstanding. But. I do want to call out the fact that I didn't get the memo to wear black today. Okay. I do feel kind of do bad. Do you own any black clothes? I have a black t-shirt. I have one. Yeah. 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 Remember yeah. when I first started here, I wore clothes with actual colors mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. 
And yeah. then you started then, making videos. Well, I mean, you yeah, graduated been, from janitor to videos. Right. So then you're like, oh, now I can't it's, be seen in the reflection. Such a journey. So, it's such speaking a journey. speaking right. of learning something, right. I mean, Matt explained to me earlier today that it's black because it doesn't reflect light. Mm, that's right. And yeah. you can control your scene a little easier, yeah. which is cool. You don't want cool. to become a light source. Way back seeing. in the day when I first started, early 2000s, um, had some solid color correction um, folks come in and really teach us about color. And you will never get the right color on your monitor if you don't start by wearing the right color shirt to work every day because the reflection even off your monitor is going to really adjust what you see as far oh, as color sense. accuracy. I have a black t-shirt. You want this? I can. <laughs> <laughs> black on black. Yeah. So None was, more black. So ba ba back on track, you know, the, the why we're doing it. You know, honestly, for me, it's like the look into the cool things we get to do every day. The cool things that. The behind guys, the scenes of it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, it. it it's often seen as just this glamorous lifestyle of agency being in, you know, the, the cool sector doing all the cool work, but it is a grind and there's a lot of work that goes behind mm -hmm. yep. what we do and what all you guys do on a daily basis to really help our, our clients achieve success. And rather than, you know, us, you know, waving the non-humble flag we're we're just wanted to talk about and let people see. And if they're interested, great. If not, so be it, you know, no, it's right. more to amuse us anyways. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, like that. So we've been talking for a few minutes, but I, we probably need to introduce ourselves since people yeah. aren't hearing that for the first time. So, or hearing yeah. us for the first time. So Chad, the yes. first gentleman of Cheyenne, <laughs> the gentleman of Cheyenne, <laughs> never been said with my name before. Um, so I am Chad. I am the chief instigator here at West Edge. Um, been here since the beginning, since 2015. Um, I have a wife and two kids and a, and a bit of a habitual entrepreneur. I play in uh, marketing and have played in marketing for the past 20 years plus. Ooh, that dates me. Um, heavily invested in technology and design and um as of the recent years real estate and um you know playing in a couple other industries to help diversify us so you know for myself a bit of the the visionary but the trouble child uh, is you know um and really helping be that support to our our team to you know pull off awesome awesome cool things nice what do you do for fun um do you have any spare time I, I do have spare time, and that spare time is doing do habitual entrepreneur stuff. So <laughs> right, I, yeah. I'm, you know, playing in real estate. You know. So no, no Actually, you know, all the gaps. one thing that I've dedicated um, to getting back into is flying. You know, I'm oh, a private pilot. I got my license in 2000 and, you know, have four or 500 hours. And, you know, here over the next couple of years, really going to jump back in. So don't tell Barb, you know, and she'll never listen to this anyway. So, you know, don't tell her that I'm going to be doing a lot more flying. So, awesome. That's really cool. I like that. Jesse, Matt. Jesse, no, it's no, your no, turn. No, 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 I want Matt to go first. Me? Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, well, so I'm Matt uh, Pinotaro. I've been with uh, West Edge now for about two years and some change. Um, the, I, I'm really just monetizing my hobbies. I I was interested in, got interested in video and editing and all that stuff when I was on a deployment in the military uh, back in 2013. So instead of doing my professional military education to be in 06, I learned how to edit videos and make pizza. Um, but it's well, paid off well. well so. We can thank Uncle Sam for your, exactly. your technical ability. Yeah, 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 right? your tax dollars. I've seen work. the outputs of one of those uh, two disciplines. I've not had the pizza yet, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe we need yeah, an oven pizza. in here. What, what makes your pizza so special? Because I've actually heard you talk about your pizza yeah. a few times. Um, honestly, I don't know. It's just simple. Yeah. There's not, not a whole lot of Italian. ingredients in it. No, it has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know, you going back to YouTube, that's where I learned the, the yeah. recipes as a, a YouTuber named Brian Lagerstrom. I know Brian. A, yeah. I just made his roast over the weekend, actually. He's got some bangers. He's amazing, dude. Yeah, he's got some good ones. He's, There's another guy named Jim on Sip and Feast. Uh -huh. Has a lot of good pizza recipes. So you know, just honed it over the years. Good. Yeah, so, dude. So you make not podcasts. You make videos. I do, yeah. yeah. Edit... Uh, Film, uh, geez, camera operate, sound guy, drones. I'm, I'm really interested in technology, you know, like you. Um, for me, though, the it started with drone flying for me. And drones were, oops, sorry about that. That's a pop or a hiss for those that yeah, don't know what that hiss. is. Um, drones for me were like this perfect um, amalgamation of all the things that interest me, which is flying, technology, yeah drone you know videography editing just everything video came together yeah video games really right so it all kind of came together with the, the drones and then when, it just spun off into other stuff so when did you get your certification i was the first kid on my block to get my part 107 yeah. license so they they were 
it became official, I believe it was uh, August 29th of 2016. Mm-hmm. I had mine on. Not to be specific or anything. I mean, it was yeah. summer, late August yeah. tw- of 2016. Yeah, we'll have to go back and uh, take a look at the records because mine was very early in 2016, and I know we are the first commercial um, in Cheyenne and Laramie County to, to have a part 107. part 107. I actually got my part 107 prior to ever flying a drone. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, because you were part 61 yeah, pilot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was not. So I, I got my part 107 on uh, the 7th of September, 2016, when you had to go down and take I that don't stupid have any test. Of this information. Jesse, do you know just, what a part 107 I, is? No, but Section I trust. Section 333. I trust that you guys do, and that's why I think it works well, because you know your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to. Well, speaking of knowing your shit, oh. let's let's learn some more about you, no, that's Jesse. That's nice. No, I think that's. By the way, we're allowed to say shit. We are? Oh, oh. yeah. Well, that's good. FCC's not playing well, in, in this. Real quick. Yeah, yeah, just you can write that can down. Can say uh, shit. Yep. Good. Good. We just had right. a little disclaimer on the, the video. It's good. And... Yeah, not for children. Um, I'm Jesse. I have been with West Edge for six and a half years. Uh, you know, coming up on seven, it feels like a lot longer and a lot less sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, dream job territory, guys. Like, I get to do what I want to do. Like, I. I get to help people and I get to talk to people. Most importantly, I get to just basically build relationships and kind of flex my expertise. It's, it's interesting over the years seeing what a lot of our people here do and a lot of the things that they do. I mean, I was never a graphic designer. I did a little, dabble in a little videography, but very, very little, but oh, like, cool. do you want to edit this? I do not. Um, <laughs> I mean, I could, but it'd take a month. Um, you know, just being able to kind of leverage a lot of the skill sets that we've got in the house and be able to translate that into what client needs are and help them reach their goals and get strategic on all those things is really cool. But, but what about you, Jesse? I know I was getting there. <laughs> Shoot. Um, Cause I have yeah, some I mean, stories. I, I live literally just up the street. Uh, uh, my wife and I got two young boys, which keep me super duper busy. And, uh, you know, that stress continues on into the workplace, which is really fun. <laughs> but, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know what else I'd do with myself. This is like where I kind of want to be. So I'm client services director as far as title goes, but I've been marketing and media director and digital strategist. So I've done a lot of the actual like media buying and all the boring stuff. That how'd you learn all that so, stuff? Like on the job. So I actually went to school for marketing, uh, oh. University of Wyoming years ago, but long, long time ago, coming up on 20 years. Um, but they didn't teach that stuff. So when I got into the workforce, um, trying to figure out how to leverage marketing to do things, they're like, okay, well, you know, this is SEO and this is paid search and this is, you know, digital placements and this is Facebook. And it's like, man, you just got to try it. And, you know, honestly, YouTube and podcasts were some of my biggest resources back yeah. then. So being able to take all that experience and knowledge that I've learned and now be able to apply it to 30 different industries and 75 different clients and, and all of these things is just, it's really fun. And being able to speak to it, you know, from a sense of, you know, knowledge, but also a little bit of bullshit in there too is, is, is nice. It's kind yeah, of like yeah. to say, got to be us and be us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. But one of the things <laughs> that both of you talked about is, you know, you're doing what you love, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that, that's the important thing yeah. for me is yeah. hearing that and going, yeah, these guys are making a living doing what they love, you know, and that that's a huge part of, you know, what I want to see with this place, totally. right? Yeah. Is let's let's do what we love, find a way to finance it, you know, um, inspire others and really do some really cool stuff. And it sounds like you both are loving what you're doing and would be doing it whether Absolutely. you're getting paid or Absolutely. not. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's yeah. nice to get paid as well. Well, yeah. Well, and last I, part, yeah piggybacking on the do what you love, I think they get to be who you are and keeping it real. Like yeah. actually like, you know, I get just, uh, yeah. um, you know, you, you guys are, he's got buttons on, which is hilarious. I'll, I'll have buttons on later. <laughs> but like, you know, being able to show up how you want to be, be yourself, you know, flip flops, <laughs> shorts, drinking beer. You like, know, when I first started, I asked, is I asked, so great. well, I asked Ben, I was yeah. like, is there a dress code? And he said, wear clothes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the dress code. We actually do have a record of a violation. Except for on Lake Day. Lake Day, yeah. Absolutely. Lake Day, you're not can, required can to wear all water. the clothes anymore. Nice. So, but you should. Yeah. yeah. Well, we talked about us, so I think. Chad, yeah. you're probably best suited to tell us what is what is West Edge? What does yeah. West Edge do? Yeah, what do what do we do? You know, um, that that's kind of a loaded question, but you know, I think for me, at the end of the day, we're really helping our clients and brands uh, try to achieve some type of breakthrough success, and we want to do that, you know, through innovation in everything we do, and really, like you said, keeping it real and the authenticity, authenticity, authenticity. behind it. Um, 
we're just a whoop, pop his. Um, we're just a bunch of people really trying to make memorable brand experiences. And, you know, if our clients see value in that and we can help give them successful results, you know, that's what we're we're in it for. And what do results mean? Every client's got different understanding of results. Some, you know, want to look better. Some, um, for whatever reason, you know, for their brand. Some want conversions and leads, you know, and whatever a conversion or a lead looks like for our clients, that's what we're here for. Um, every client we have, have has a different problem they're trying Absolutely. to solve. Um, and we don't take that cookie cutter approach. No um, we do that, you know, what does that look like? Um, what is the immersive technology and immersive marketing really look like behind that? That includes everything we do. Um, uh, it's it's video, it's design, it's marketing strategy, it's technology, it's web. It's all of the different domains that we do um, and our, our team uh, is really good at bringing it together. And so so for me, it, it, it's really exciting when we see a, a client uh, walk within a hallway and there's, you know, 60 foot of graphics and they're just immersed in this in this experience. Um, while others, you know, we might take an experience to them via augmented reality or extended reality. So, you know, for us, you know, uh, I, I call our special sauce the fact that, you know, um, we don't necessarily have one recipe to a special sauce as yeah. we custom make it to each each client. Yeah, yeah I, I would agree. I would agree with that completely. I think that our kind of consultative approach is being able to listen to clients and hear kind of where they want to go and then give them our vision of what that could look like and collaboratively come to consensus on where we want to be. But, you know, we got a lot of tools in the toolbox and like figuring out which ones are going to really move the needle for them while still being fun and making it memorable, I think are really important. So I, I, I just, as you were talking through that, I can picture each of the examples you laid out and I can think of like 10 more, yeah. which is really cool. And there it's, that's one of the beauty of some of the beauty of working with a small agency is it's very unique and customizable to everyone. And it's truly, you know, your own when you're right. done, which is really cool. Yeah. 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 And I, I think the, the cool thing is, is we don't specialize in a, a certain industry or vertical or anything like that. Um, because to be honest, we'd be too bored. You know, we could be <laughs> super duper experts at one field and be the be the best at banking. But you know, I, I don't necessarily know if that's gonna flip everybody's switch or you know scratch their itch. You know, um, if that makes sense. So if we can continue to just bring innovative solutions to our clients and to their customers, I think that's what's long term gonna set us apart. And to find those clients in those industries that want to stand out and be different, and then we help them do that. It's finding the right fit for us that yeah. they want to be different. They don't want a commoditized set of deliverables that's gonna right. just do this thing. So. Yeah, it's crazy. We can be working with you know uh military and government and you know also be working with the local home builder or hvac company and you know that's what gets us excited is the the infusion in the mix of the the community along the lines with everything else we do yeah yeah the, the why is really important yep so. totally it's good hearing your guys 30,000 foot view because, you know, I, I'm thinking like, oh, if, what would I say about that? I like making clients cry when they watch the videos. <laughs> I think that's a cool goal. That's a great goal. For me, it feels good because it's like you're, you know, when we produce something that touches them in a way, whether they're laughing, crying, and whether they're having an emotional reaction to something I created or Ben created on our computers. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of a cool experience. And that's the art of it, right? Yeah, like, it is. There's the difference between the science on, you know, evaluating and understanding your audience, knowing the channels, knowing your budget breakdown, having well-built projects, putting that together. That's kind of the science side of it. And then getting into the art and bring, bringing the creativity in it. Like it's like nothing else. It's yeah. really cool to be able to merge. Yeah, those I remember two. back uh, back in the day, you know, um, working heavy on the on the website. You know, um, a few developers always felt, you know, um, that man, I, I can develop something great, and that's the science behind it. And then the client. They don't care if it works or not. It has to be beautiful, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? You yeah, know, yeah. Um, if, if it doesn't look pretty, it doesn't work. Um, and it could be the best software in the world. So you have to be able to infuse that that left and right mind. Um, and I think we do a really good job of that. We, we've we got the the nerds. We've got the creatives. We've got the, you know, the, the people who, you know, maybe might not fit into those normal everyday situations yeah. just to pull off some really cool stuff. Well, That's and cool. so speaking of that, your, uh, your homework assignment for this was to pull up some interesting facts and figures about yeah. where West Edge has been and 
where we've gotten the uh, company background and experience yeah, stuff here. Yeah, so um, we are here um, at eight years old, um, kind of round in the corner. Uh, this next year in 2024, um, becoming nine years old. Um, being my second agency that I've started from ground up, we've been able to accelerate our growth faster than than what I was uh, able to do with the last one. And for me, uh, growing to 20 plus staff members and four million dollars of revenue in the uh, in the last nine years is is exciting. Um, what our clients have been able to achieve uh, from us has been astounding um millions of views statewide in the the ad campaigns that we've put out um hundreds of thousands of engagements with our augmented reality tools with the military um our, our ability to grow from zero to what i call hero you know this 20 plus agency um in such a short amount of time and be trusted by our clients yeah. is, is super duper exciting um we're moving into a 8,000 square foot space. This is our third space in the nine years. Um, this is going to be the five. best one yet. Yeah. The, oh, the yeah. third one, yeah. right? right. Um, so <laughs> moving from from our rent by the hour hotel to our, our space <laughs> on, on 16th and Bent um, to now uh, the 15th Street location. Um, this is the best one yet, and this is gonna be exciting, and it's gonna be a, a real game changer, not only for us, but our clients in the community. Oh yeah, so. oh, and the experience that they'll get from, I'm just excited to see their eyes light up as they walk in the doors. Absolutely. So it's gonna be really cool, but. Yep. So I guess to kind of round this out, cause we are gonna deep dive in later episodes, more about the company mm -hmm. and more about the space, but let's, let's just kind of talk about what can be expected from life on the edge, you know, from, from West Ed for this life on the edge, just why don't you tell us about. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier, like relationships are pretty much everything getting to know everyone I think is going to be really important. And, you know, we, we love all of our team. We love our clients. You know, it's, it, it, if it's not about the human and the human interaction, it's like, what are we doing it? Right. Like it's not, this is not a cold engagement. So I really want this, this, uh, these series of conversations to be about getting to know who we are and kind of what, but more importantly, why we do things, you know, like getting back to the core values and understanding the decisions that we make in day to day right. and how those come into fruition. I really, we will be talking about, you know, specific examples of work that we've done and how we approach that work, but, you know, not really in a portfolio piece. It's more about why did we make these decisions Some of the problem and solving like, decisions. what's the pushing, yeah. you know, well, what did the client ask for and how, how do we, to how do we get there? But then really diving into the people, like, cause without the people, we're not going to be here. So I want everybody to understand and get to know and learn and, and kind of meet the folks. Cause to me, that's the magic West edge is when you can, when you can be in a meeting and you've got six of our creatives, um, you know, in our awesome, like, project and, and account staff in, in a room and be able to talk through solutions and stuff. You know, we make the best relationships with clients and I really want this series of conversations to drive that and lead that. But, you know, peek behind the curtain. I can't wait to show you guys this space. It's going to be super duper cool. But then make that an invitation for people to be able to come in here and, and walk it with us and sit down and sit at this bar and, you know, have a beverage coffee, whatever you want. And, and, uh, and, and just, and just open up the conversation because I, like I said, when I intro myself, that's the whole reason I'm here. I want to make good relationships and get to know people, but yet have strategy and solutions to, to solve their problems. So I, I think that this, you know, these podcasts, videos, whatever you want to it's call not a it. Podcast. I know I, was trying to avoid that word. <laughs> um, but really, ultimately, that's where we want to go because our whole thing is to make it memorable. We love what we do and we want everybody to feel the same when they step in here. So. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I think that for me, our staff, the people who grind day to day, um, they understand our founding principles and core values. And um, I really feel and believe in if we embrace those core values and those founding principles, that we can really do something special, um, that we can ignite that next generation of creative economy. And that being our mission, I want to be able to share that with the rest of the world and really amplify and, and you know, rise that tide. So 
so all of these different boats can really help you know generate the the cheyenne the wyoming and the creative economy nationwide mm -hmm. that we really want so for me if we, if we can give a glimpse into that and we can talk about our people and our our products and our process and our pillars and all of that good stuff but at, at the end of the day it's like what is that spark you know to to really ignite that fire and for me like how do we do that and let y'all talk about that and letting other people glimpse into that that's what i'm looking for well thanks again for joining us today it was uh good inf thanks again for joining us today it was good information we got to hear about all sorts of cool things this is just an inaugural episode folks so uh stay tuned with us to learn more and dive deeper in a lot of these topics as we talked about today the next one we're going to be talking about who is west edge and what makes West Edge tick? What are all the things that we do? What's the ethos? What's the ideas? What are the founding principles? So that one will be really great. Hit like, subscribe, and watch for the next one. Take care.